Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video, we saw how to send an email from Excel and I've got a lot of questions and one of the questions was how to send multiple emails or emails to multiple recipients. So let's clarify that first. And in this video, I will show you how to send multiple emails to multiple recipients. But if you want to send just one email to multiple recipients, you can use the previous macro. So this is the template we used in the previous macro. And of course, if you just have one email address here, you will send it to one, but you can add as many as you want separated with a semicolon. So here is another email and you could use the same macro to send, of course, an email to various recipients. But the question was rather how to send multiple emails. So let me close this one here and go back to the previous template. So as you see here, I have several recipients. I only have three, but you could have as many as you, as you need. And I have the name, the email address, and then I have a subject, an email body, and an attachment. Well, but we could also have a different subject and a, dis a different body. So let me put a, a proper attachment here, and that would be user administrator documents. And then I have this, uh, this file over there. So I'm going to send uh, separate emails to all of those recipients with the same subject, uh, the same email body and the attachment. It's just going to change the, the header for each, uh, each recipient. You see, this is dear Andrew, here's dear Maria and so on. And I just display, I didn't send the emails. And as you can probably guess, those are just dummy addresses, so it wouldn't go anywhere, but you would rather use the method send to automatically send the emails. You would not even see that on the screen. So let's see how to do that. Let me actually copy that. I have the same template in, in this other file. Okay, and we're gonna see how to do that from, from scratch. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor, insert a module and call this send multiple emails. And the first thing we need to do is to declare an Outlook object variable. Now I'm going to use early binding. So I'm going to add the Microsoft Outlook object library. But in the previous video, I explained what's the difference between early binding and late binding. So I'm not going to go through that again. Please check the other video if you want to know more about it. Now having that library, we can declare our Outlook app object variable as a new Outlook dot application. And then we need another variable, let me call it out mail as a mail item. And now we're going to start a loop through rows in that worksheet. So for R equals, we start in row number two to skip the headers up to row number. Well, in this case, I only have three recipients, so that would be four, but we can also have just the last row with content. And up here, we can get our last row with content as cells rows count comma in column B or C actually column C is where I have the email, but it doesn't really matter is is either B or C uh, with the name or the email of the recipient. Then we get to the end and we get the row number. So we're going to loop here from two to actually row four. And then every time we loop, we are going to actually create an email item. So out mail. It's going to be out app dot create item zero, which is the mail item, or you can use zero, or you can use the name here, mail item. And now with that mail item out mail, we're going to set the recipient. So two, this is going to be actually range column C and row R. Okay, dot value. We so you see we have the emails in column C, C2, C3, C4, and so on if you have if you have more. So that's CR dot value. Then we're gonna get the subject. And the subject is in column D. But in this case, we actually have one subject for all the emails. So then we're going to have D2. That's where the subject is. But if you have different subjects for each email, then you would rather use the R as we did before. But here we're going to have the same subject for all the different emails. 
Then we're going to have the body. But the body is actually going to consist of three components, the header, the main body, and then a signature. So let me put here body header is going to be dear, and then we're going to concatenate this with the name of the recipient, which is in column B, so range B and row R dot value. And then we're going to have a comma. OK. Then we're going to have the body main. Um, and the body main is what we have here in cell E2. And again, we are assuming we're going to have the same main body for all of them. Otherwise, you would have different text in, in the different rows. So for now, we're going to have the main body as range E2 dot value. And finally, we're going to have a body signature. And the body signature is always going to be the same. So we could actually have it outside of the loop. We don't need to have it in the loop because it's always going to be the same. The, 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 the body signature is going to say sincerely, comma, and then we're going to move to the next line, VV new line or VVLF line feed. And then we're going to have uh, Excel Macromania. That's the signature. Okay, so finally we're going to have dot body is going to be the body header. And then we're going to have a uh, line fit added. Actually, we're going to have two. And then we're going to have the body main. And then we concatenate that again, having another two um, line fits or, or, or new lines. You can use new lines. The only reason I use line LF is because it's shorter and I can fit everything in one line so that you see everything. And then finally we get the body signature. So that's our body. And finally we're going to have an attachment. So attachments.add and the source for the file of our attachment is in column F. You see, here's the path with the name and extension of our file. So F2, range F2. And again, if you want to have a different attachment for each recipient, you would use F and R. Okay. Okay, now if you want to add more attachments, you simply keep going. Attachments add, and then you add the source or the cell with the source reference of that uh, file. And finally, we can send the email. But as we did before, we are actually going to display the email so that we see all the three emails. In this case, just three. But of course, if you have 20, 30, 50, don't display them all because you're going to open a bunch of, of new mails, so you would just go and send all of them, right? But I'm going to comment that for now. I don't want to send these emails and actually these are dummy accounts, so it won't go anywhere or it would actually go somewhere where it shouldn't go. And here we can end the with statement. And finally, we can, of course, go to the next row. So this is going to happen for each row. This is actually the same code we used in the previous macro, but now we're going to repeat it. We're going to run it several times. In the end, we can, of course, set out mail to nothing and out up to nothing. And I forgot, of course, here to say the value. We want the value in that range. And body header, dear range. Oh, I don't know why I wrote that. This should be dot, of course. Yeah, we get the value in that. So now let's run it and let's see. How we get here the three emails with the um, a different header for each of them, the same uh, email body and the same uh, signature, but of course a different email each time um, and um, the same subject and the same attachment. So that's how we send multiple emails 
from Excel and via Outlook using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.